Hey you guys, so I'm back. Um, I'm doing a practice run on my Halloween costume makeup tonight. So this is what I look like just the way I am. Um, and then yeah, um, we're gonna go into a transformation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my regular contacts first because I wanna do some blue contacts, which isn't really flowing with my costume, but I thought it would look better with the darker hair. So as opposed to just the green eyes. So here we go. We're gonna get out the regular contacts. My hands are washed in case you're wondering. And I'm just gonna put these in some solution because these are my like normal wear contacts. And then we're gonna go in for the fresh look ones. And I'll have to put those ones somewhere in a case. I just wear these really for special occasions because the vision them's not perfect. So I don't know if you guys have ever tried this brand of contacts for like costumes or just for fun. It's not not great vision because um, you can kind of see like the blue ring and everything. And they're really floppy too, which is what I'm experiencing right now. So I'm going to try to get them into my eye. Might make some faces at you simultaneously. Like, I just hate the fact that you can just see a ring, but it is what it is. Anything for the costume. <laughs> so, this is what I'm looking like so far. I just think it'll be more contrast with the black wig. And this is all last minute, so, um, I'm doing Wednesday Adams from the Adams family in case anybody's wondering. Sorry, I didn't warn. This is like me poking myself in the eye video. Okay, here we go. All right, so back to seeing.
you guys. So here's the full makeup and hair look, okay? So this is as close as I could get to a uh, Wednesday type um, pigtail situation. So um, it's like a little bit dark brown versus black, but whatever, we're making it work. Um, I like how the pony, the pigtails are really thick. So it feels like really good hair actually. Um, so I feel like it looks pretty decent. It's a little lumpy on the side cause I had to, my hair kind of just lumped over to that side a little bit when I was trying to put the um, hair on, but I'm not that worried about it cause I work in eye care and most of my patients aren't seeing great anyway. I know that sounds bad, but you know, they're there to get glasses. So um, it might be okay. Um, if it's a little lopsided, but I was able to get my hair tucked in pretty decent. Um, so I'll go ahead and put on the full outfit and then we'll go from there. So back with you guys, I just wanted to show you how to make the collars. Um, so I bought this, this is the part I used already. Um, it's a dish towel from Craft Warehouse. I didn't really want to wait in line to get fabric. So you could just use a just standard dark white fabric. Um, but what I did was I just got these towels because they were on sale and they were so what I did was I just matched up to my shirt and I used the end of the towel like this um, and then I just cut a rectangle just usually pretty long enough to match one side of the shirt and then I did the same thing so here's the pieces I cut, like or the area I cut out so you can see for reference like how big the area was so here's the middle section I didn't use so I just used the already pre like sewn areas and then with this section, I pinned this over my shirt, literally with safety pins. This one went on the back side, so you just fold it over so it looks nice and tidy like that. And then you just stick the safety pins in so that the pin side um, or the attachment side is on the bottom. So I did that. And that's how I made the DIY collar because I didn't have a white collared shirt to actually go under it. If you have a white collared shirt, then you don't need to do that step. But um, that's just an easy way to get a really quick collar for the shirt if you know you need a collared shirt for another type of outfit. Just a quick one there. Um, and then this piece right here was like three bucks um, for this dish towel. So, and I'm gonna keep this scrap fabric and I can use it for something else. So I just wanted to give you a quick uh, tutorial on how to do that.